Inventions that prove we're from the future. A pizza vending machine? What? I need this in my house. How does this work? Is it still good? I need to know. Also, I really hope it still comes with the box. Imagine just a floppy pizza just floppy now and you're not there to catch it and it flops on the floor. There's nobody you can talk to about a refund. You just gotta eat the floppy floor pizza. Full pizza ready in three minutes? This sounds like a scam. This is too good to be true. Have you ever been to a place I wanted to try two different flavors of something? That's me literally everywhere. I'm like, can I just get like little bits of everything on the menu? And then it's always a no. <laughs> well now, for the first time in humanity, you don't have to choose. You can have half one flavor, half the other. This is a pretty awesome invention. Like this needs to be everywhere. I'm too indecisive. I cannot make decisions. I want to have everything. I'm like, I want banana flavored and strawberry flavored and mango flavored and especially chocolate flavored. This little robot actually cleans your bathtub. So now you can take clean AF baths. I mean, I've always wanted to just throw some floaties on my room, but and let him have a go, but this probably makes more sense. And I probably would not have a broken Roomba. Fun fact, I've actually named my Roomba Robot Slave. <laughs> So then I can go, hey Google, I need to whisper that so Google doesn't hear me. And then Google goes, robot slave is now cleaning. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so amused by that, but I am. Numbers on this keypad appear randomly, like completely randomly. So it's not in the same order as when you type it in. This is brilliant. No one can try to guess your pin code when you're like sitting there trying to withdraw money. No more thieves. The only problem with this is the people that are like me. I kind of know my bank code based on like formation, you know, like I kind of have like a little pattern I've memorized. The actual numbers, um, I don't really know that too well. So like sometimes when there's a pin pad and it's like upside down, it really messes up my world. My whole world is ruined. I'm just like, I don't know my pin. <laughs> and I have to sit there for like 30 minutes trying not to block my credit card and trying to purchase something and everybody behind me hates me. <laughs> well, you have a baby, but you got places to be. Can this be a new Olympic sport? I'd watch the hell out of that. Imagine, imagine you just see like fathers and mothers, like the baby strollers, just like scootering around. I mean, if you go too fast, it's a little dangerous, but you could put like a toy baby in the stroller and it would be safer and like just hella funny. Make this an Olympic sport. I would watch it. Aziland approved. Now you never have to worry about walking into a bathroom late at night blindly, you know, accidentally falling into the toilet. Not speaking from experience. Why are we still here? Glow in the dark toilet paper is here, my friends. This is the hero we didn't know we needed, but we do. Oh, I just want to make like little like paths around the floor with this and just like have a glow in the dark trail. My cat would destroy that in a second, but like for the second it'd be there, it'd be cool. I'm always interested in new Oreo dunking technologies. Yes, technologies. You can say it's a little bit of a passion of mine. It's Oreo without the milk on your fingers. Wow. You guys want to know how much I love Oreos? I actually did a whole video where I bought a lot of Oreos. I'll link it in the description for you guys to check out later. Okay, who is the genius who made chores fun? I was gonna say again, but chores were never fun, let's be honest. No, sorry guys, can't play Fortnite right now. I'm a little occupied with this new game. Imagine you're just like remote controlling your mop around. Like that would be kind of fun. You don't have to sit up, you can like, forever stay in your bed, forever stay on your couch. Like the true lazy people we are. I mean, we're not lazy. Maybe a little, if we're being honest, you know? Honesty is the best policy and sometimes we can be a little lazy. By we, I mean me. But this would be fun, right? People love driving around little toy cars that are remote controlled. Make it a mop. You want to take it a step further? You put a car on top of the mop. Fool everybody. Cousin comes over and you're like, hey, play with this remote control car. It's just a mop tricking everybody to your chores. I'm into this. Like I can get behind this. Can I fund this? Can I throw my money at this? 2020. Addy goes broke because she spent all her money on a remote controlled mop. I'm not mad at it. At least I'll have remote, blah, 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 remote controlled mops. Do you know what this does? Well, let Azzy tell you. It turns your bathtub into a jacuzzi. And that's how mafia works. Like I feel like everybody needs this. Everybody needs this. You know, you can't form a jacuzzi. 
Who cares? You got a jacuzzi and a bath. Who in one? You can always use a towel. But mirror wipers are the future. We have them on cars, but now we have them in our very own bathrooms. Because there's nothing worse than a foggy mirror when you're just trying to look at yourself, obviously. Like you need to experience that in perfect vision. But also you, maybe you need to do your makeup or shave or like, I don't know, whatever you need to do. Maybe you just need to stare into your own eyes. Now I got you. You know, brush your teeth. You don't want to miss your mouth. Sometimes that stuff's difficult. <laughs> Charging ports on public transportation. This is the best because there's nothing worse than being on a long ride on public transportation with nothing to do. You know, your phone is dead. Can't listen to music. Can't play any games. Can't text your friends. You don't know anybody on the bus. So you're just sitting there awkward, like people watching. Sometimes people watching is fun though. Don't lie, you do it too. I can't figure out if whoever invented this slide wants kids to go at a hundred miles per hour or not. Like this has to go fast, right? All those things spin. Or is this supposed to slow you down? I can't figure it out. Either way, I'd still go down this slide. Sometimes the best inventions are just so simple. You can't believe that they weren't always a thing. Why hasn't this always been a thing? It's a little stick. You put down the Pringles can. And now you don't have to stick your fingers in there. It just lifts all the Pringles up for you. A charging drawer. I kind of like low-key need this because my chargers are a mess. They're all over the place. And then your phone's always on your bedside table. You know, people texting you late at night. And this is especially a problem for me because I live half the year in Amsterdam and half the year in Toronto. So like my friends are in different time zones. So people will text me like daytime for them. But it's like I'm asleep at my time and then my phone's just like lighting up the room. It's probably not good for you. I need this. I can't believe that they managed to improve the ice cream cone. Like they made it better. <laughs> this is an attachment for ice cream cones that is edible. But also it catches all the dripping ice cream in case you eat ice cream slow AF. Like, let's be honest, this isn't me. I, I eat my ice cream way too fast for there to be any dripping. <laughs> I got a problem. But for everybody else who eats at normal or slow paces, this, this is for you. I mean, I'll still take it because it looks delicious. I mean, it's got sprinkles on it, come on. I need one anyways. This sweater has built in ear... As I was saying, this sweater has built in earphones. My only concern about this is like, can you even wash the sweater? Or like, like, is this just gonna be your stinky earphone sweater? Like, I'm just gonna sweat in this, never wash it. Because if I wash it, the built in headphones are gonna break. There's no way, like, look, it's like the drawstrings right here. Do you see them? You see them? I just noticed them. They better be waterproof or this is a scam. You know what's the worst part about taking a bath? Is the water getting cold. That and the bath ending. Also the pruning, but I can fix for you the water getting cold. These little stones keep the water warm for you. Mega game changer. Like, can I, you know, have you in my life? This stapler comes with colored staples at the end, so you know when the stapler is about to run out, so you need to get another staple pack ASAP. I think they're just trying to make more money, but it's working. Now that's how you do business. That's how mafia works. You have a single egg carton. And I only have one thing to say to this. Why? Why does anybody need one egg? Am I overeating? Because I don't think one egg could ever fit. Yeah. Why would you need one egg? Maybe some recipes call for one egg. But like, you wouldn't want any other eggs ever? Surely, surely it's cheaper to just buy a carton. I appreciate the effort though, but this doesn't seem to make any economical sense to me. Like literally, if you like hate eggs and you just wanted it for one recipe, that's the only way this makes any sense. Or like, you know, you wanted to have a pet egg and you wanted to take it with you to school or something. I'm not judging. Whoa, this doggy looks like he's ready for war but it's actually just a coyote vest. It's to protect the doggies from the coyotes and the hawks who try to attack them or pick them up. No, they don't fight back, but they can, you know, they're like porcupines. It's cute. And anything that can help my little doggy friends, I'm here for it. Yeah, okay, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking what I was thinking. This is just a bench, Azzy. Nah. It's designed like this for very specific reasons. You can't steal it, sleep on it, tag it with graffiti, or ride a skateboard on it. Basically, it's a party pooper bench. I don't know why this is here. This shouldn't be in the video. <laughs> but here it is. Have you ever been chilling in your bathtub thinking, man, I wish I could look at the stars? You're welcome. It's a star maker. This bottle has a little compartment for ice. So you put the ice cubes in the compartment, you put your liquid in the bottle. And now 
when the ice melts, it's not watering down your liquid. <laughs> you know, whatever your liquid may be, whether it's apple juice or something a little stronger, it will stay undiluted and not ruin the flavors. This is like the bed of the future. It checks your vital signals, plays television, music. Now that's pretty awesome. This is the bookworm cocoon. You can lay down or sit and read your favorite books. Now that's pretty convenient. I need this in my life. I wonder how comfortable it is though. Part of me is like, that's gotta hurt your back. But another part of me, it's kind of cozy and cute and like, it's needed in my life. Finally, somebody created this. The Euphoria Lock. And you're like, what's the Euphoria Lock? Well, let me tell you. First of all, before I tell you, we have alarms in our houses, right? Our cars. But well, why did it take this long to protect our ice cream, our most valuable asset? Protected at all costs, because there's nothing worse than a sibling eating your favorite Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I mean, Sharon's caring, but don't touch my ice cream. <laughs> I'm joking, I'll share my ice cream. Depends how much I've already had. Full. Wait, does anyone actually need this? Why would you need a cup that tells you if it's full or not? Like, can't you tell yourself? Maybe you've had too many of those if that's the case. What's next? Watches that tell us it's dark outside? Like, you can just look out the window. Guys, I've been sick the past week. You might have not noticed because like sometimes I film extra videos and then I kind of like can make it work. I don't really know what happened. I was like puking a lot and I think I had uh, either the stomach flu or food poisoning. Symptoms are very similar, so it's kind of hard to tell. Basically, I was puking. Sorry, it's gross. That's just the reality of the situation. I was sick. While I was having that, I actually also had what seemed to be an allergic reaction because my whole face turned into a marshmallow. So I went and got a allergy test uh, done. Just in case I'm allergic to something, doctor said it's possible. I could have also been allergic to the stomach virus, like that happens. He said it's rare, but it could happen. It would happen to me. I would get allergic to the virus I have in my stomach. <laughs> Anyways, here's a fun clip of me trying to rip off that band-aid. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Like a band-aid. Like a band-aid. I struggle with that too. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you're not sick. I hope that you're healthy. And I hope if you are sick, you get better soon. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice, other. Bye-bye.